In this presentation, we'll look at naming straight chained haloalkanes. This comes from the HC Chemistry syllabus. Dot point identify and name examples of isomers of haloalkanes up to eight carbon atoms. Haloalkanes are alkane molecules in which one or more hydrogen atoms have been substituted by halogen atoms. Halogens are group seven elements include chlorine, fluorine, bromine, and iodine. Isomers are molecules with the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Here's an example. Step one involves identifying and naming any halogen atoms. They're named using prefixes, so the place in front of the alkane stem name and in alphabetical order. For example, bromine becomes bromo, chlorine, chloro, fluorine, fluoro. And if there are more than one of any of the halogen atoms, then the following prefix is placed in front of the halogen name. Example, difluoro, which means there'd be two fluoro atoms. So di means two, tri, three, tetra, four, and so forth. Here's an example of a molecule containing two chlorine and one fluorine. Therefore, the prefix is used, a dichloro and fluoro respectively. In step two, you identify and name the alkane stem. To do this, you need to count the number of carbons in the hydrocarbon chain. So for example, if there's one carbon, the stem will be called methane. If there's two, it'll be ethane, three, propane, and so on up to eight carbons. In this example, you can see there are th three carbon atoms. So the stem is propane. Step three involves assembling the components into a complete name, making sure that any halogen names are placed alphabetically in front of the main stem. Here's an example of assembling these components. Dichloro, fluoro, propane. And here's another one. Di dibromo, chloro, butane. And notice how here we need to ignore the dye when we put these ones alphabetically. Step four involves numbering the positions of halogen atoms. You need to number from the end of the carbon chain that gives the lowest set of numbers for all the halogen atoms. The numbers are then placed in front of the respective halogen name, separated by a hyphen. If there are more than one of a particular type of halogen atom, you need to also give each a number. This numbering is easy when you've only got one type of halogen. More care is needed when two or more halogens are present. This part of the rule will be discussed shortly. In this example, there's only one type of halogen present. In step one, you identify the halogens present. In this case, we have four fluorine, atoms, so the prefix is tetrafluoro. In step two, you identified the stem name. In this case, two carbons indicates that we have the ethane stem. So step three is assembling these components, tetrafluoroethane. In step four, we start by numbering from the left. In this case, the name would be given as 1112-tetrafluoroethane. We next look at numbering from the right, and in this case, the, the name would be 1222-tetrafluoroethane. Since we only have one type of halogen atom present, we compare the number sets and use the one that gives the lowest numbers. In this case, it's 111 to tetrafluoroethane. In this example, we have more than one type of halogen atom present. The molecule contains one chlorine and two bromine atoms, hence the prefixes chloro and dibromo. There are four carbon atoms, 
and therefore the stem name is butane. So our starting name is dibromochlorobutane. In step four, we number to begin with from the left, which gives us 2,4-dibromo-1-chlorobutane. When we number from the right, we get 1,3-dibromo-4-chlorobutane. The two sets of numbers listed in ascending order give 1,2,4 for the first name and 1,3,4 for the second name. The first name has the smallest number 2 at the first point of difference, the second number. So in this case, 2 compared to 3 in the second position. Therefore, the correct name is 2,4-dibromo-1-chlorobutane. Step 5 is needed if there are more than one possible name. If the previous rules lead to more than one possible name, then the correct name is the one in which the lowest set of numbers is assigned to the halogen cited first as a prefix. We'll look at that now. We'll start at step four. Numbering from the left, we get 1, 2, dichloro, 3, fluoropropane. Numbering from the right, we get 2, 3, dichloro, 1, fluoro, Propane. If we list the sets of numbers in ascending order, they're the same from either side, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3. If this is the case, the lowest set is allocated to the first named halogen. Therefore, the name of this molecule is 1, 2, dichloro, 3, fluoropropane. And similarly, in this example, when we number from the left, we get the name 1,2,2-trichloro-1,1,2-trifluoroethane. When we number from the right, we get 1,1,2-trichloro-1,2,2-trifluoroethane. Again, the sets of numbers listed in ascending order are the same from either side. So therefore, the lowest set is allocated to the first named halogen. Therefore, this molecule is named 1,1,2-trichloro-1,2,2-trifluoroethane. We'll work through this example. Step one, we need to identify the halogen. So we have a chlorine and a bromine. So we use our prefixes chloro and bromo. Step two is naming the alkane stem. So we've got one, two, three, four, five carbon. So there's five carbon, therefore the stem is pentane. Step three is putting it all together so making sure we use put these alphabetically so we'd have bromo chloro pentane now if we look at step four what we need to do we start numbering first from the left so if we number from the left one two got two chloro um, and you've got three four bromo in the first if you're going from the left so in that case we'd be naming it making sure we get this one right uh, four bromo two chloro pentane okay if we name it from the right Okay, in this case, from the right, we'd have 1, 2, bromo, 3, 4, chloro. Okay, so you'd have 2, bromo, 4, chloro, 
pentane. So we can see that our two sets of numbers are the same from either end. So two, four. Okay, so two, four, two, four. So this means we need to now go to step five. So the lowest set is allocated to the first named halogen. Therefore, the name of our hydrocarbon is 2-bromo-4-chloro-pentane.